All right, breaking developments tonight on where Hamas is getting some of the missile technology it's using. A senior Iranian official saying they provided Hamas with the new advanced rocket technology with longer range and more destructive payloads. Buck Sexton is a former CIA officer, former NYPD intelligence division specialist, and national security editor at TheBlaze.com. Among other things, you're everywhere. Buck, so thanks for making time for us tonight. Thank you. Um, let's talk about this because you understand the details and the minutia of all of these relationships. You spent a lot of time in the Middle East. No surprise that Iran is supporting Hamas. No, I think what people are seeing here is a reestablishment of a long-standing support that Iran has had for Hamas. There was a bit of a fracture for a while because Iran wanted Hamas to support Iran's continued efforts to help Assad in Syria. So there was something of a mini divorce for a period of time. But now they're coming back together. And the Iranian supreme leader has come out and said it is the duty to uh, to rearm the Palestinian people. And you have this senior Iranian official saying not only do we have that duty, we actually were part of this process of getting the Palest uh, of Hamas the rockets they need to conduct this offensive against Israel. How much of this is a proxy war beyond just Hamas and Israel at this point with Iran on one side? the U.S. you know clearly allied with Israel how much of it is a bigger argument about who's going to control what happens in the Middle East a lot of it and there are concentric circles here really there's the the diplomatic side of it which I think has been uh, very uh, illuminating to see who is helpful in the region and who is not what we're seeing is that the Egyptian government for example the Saudi government they recognize the danger that Hamas poses not just to Israel but regionally and even to their own regime so they're trying to push for st some kind of a ceasefire and then eventual stability if they can whereas you see Turkey and Qatar are essentially bad actors here, have been very difficult, have been very pro-Hamas in a lot of their negotiating so far. And then on the military side of things, Iran continually wants to create a situation of violence and instability across the Middle East, wants to hold itself up as the main antagonist of Israel, and that's why they have these relations. Remember, Iran is a, a Shia-majority country helping Sunni Hamas. They don't care as long as they're literally directing their fire towards the state of Israel. So Iran hasn't given up that mission, and if they try to reestablish that, it could prolong the conflict, or we could just see another cycle of this very soon.